feel like Scottie Pippen oh. with the Phil Jackson exercise on where okay. he said, come up and put how close you feel me. to the team. Go right. set it up. All right, I'll set it up. Man, this is where I'm at. All right, so uh, last week I told the story about Scottie Pippen when he was with the Bulls. Phil Jackson drew a bullseye on a whiteboard, and he asked every player to come up to the whiteboard with the bullseye and target on it and put a dot if they felt connected to the team. And most of the players in the Bulls put it in the bullseye or around the bullseye. Scotty Pip, Scotty Pippen put the dot, light years, let's just say, away from <laughs> the uh, target, which meant Scotty wasn't feeling very connected to the, the Bulls team at that particular time. You wanted to be Scotty Pippen today. You wanted to tell me where you're putting your dot in terms of how much you believe in the Golden okay. State Warriors. Right. Now, and you said it, I'm going to give you A-plus for how you set me Thank up. You. But I'm confused. So so the, the, the name of this exercise is confusion, and I need somebody to talk to. Right. Because when you left, and I went to the game, Stanley, I got to tell you about Myers and I talking about you. We oh. needed you on board. We'll get to that. But everything regarding the players and their job duty was detailed. Clay Thompson with no Steph, I loved it. The leadership the shots and the offense was begging, hey, Clay, we need you at every turn. Shoot, 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 shoot. Clay was amazing. Mm -hmm. No shade. But I never looked at it that when Curry came back, which he did yesterday and played fantastic, Steiny, and for the bigger picture, you want him back. But that wasn't the same Clay. And now I feel like, here I go, thinking for Clay. Okay, I'm not going to get all these shots that I got when my, my, my splash brother was out. So... I'm wondering now, is he pressing? Dante DiVincenzo, not Jordan Poole. You're in the starting lineup because there's no Wiggins. Not mad at that decision, but I'm thinking how Jordan Poole's thinking about that because he's human. So these are all not agendas, as you said, Stani, but these are all new little details that are starting to, to have me wonder. And the heaviest one, I've called him out. At every turn, Andre Guadala, lo and behold, you got to love Dre and his time, and shows up on the ABC game, national game against the Lakers, steps back, he debuts. I wanted him to come back, but Stiney, I need you and the listeners to tell me, moving forward, is he going to take <laughs> minutes away from Jonathan Kaminga? Andre Guadala? Yes, because yes. if so... That's not what my bet was predicated on. So I'm those sorry. are things I I, 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 I jotted <laughs> Did down. Did you say you made a bet expecting everything to go right? Every single thing to go right. Now, mm -hmm. hear me out on yeah, this part. Heard that in a while. I felt like Dre got a bit of a scholar. They need to see where he's at. But you haven't, and I know uh, Kaminga wasn't at his best yesterday, and I hated that Kerr put Iguodala in to guard AD on one of the most important possessions to foul him with five seconds on the shot clock when Kaminga has showed everybody this last week, Stani, that defensively, the light's on. I'm not perfect, but that was an opportunity for me to see what the young fella had. And Lamb, now he's played it. He's reached his uh, cap. He's not a part of it. So now we're all back. Mm -hmm. And I haven't mentioned the most important one. We don't know when Wiggins is coming back. So there's questions that are all at my doorstep now that were kind of on pause while mm. you were gone. And as this team won five in a row. Mm. So where's your dot? I did far left where Pippins was. Are what, you on the it? whiteboard? Um, no, I'm off. Hey, I'm you shouldn't be off. That's ridiculous. When's Wiggins coming back? Listen, listen. I'm When's gonna, Wiggins I'm gonna coming talk back? You down here. I'll, I'll talk you down here. Because yeah, I need to know. Tell as, me when Wiggins is coming back. On the other side of this bet, I, I would still. I listen. If I had your bet, oh, I which feel is the better. Warriors okay. can win it all. Go ahead. But I have, I have the field. Of course, ninety nine percent of the people are going to take yeah. my bet just because it's sounder. But when you left, but. I mean, there's no doubt the last five games, you're like, hmm. Then you start looking at everybody else and maybe this, maybe that. You know, we'll see what happens because, you know, Phoenix looks like if they could get it together, they're going to be a really good team. Devin Booker uh, loving I, this I basketball. I still think Denver's pretty good. But here's what I was thinking today. I watched all the Warrior games. Uh, they played, right. with the exception of yesterday. 
I didn't watch yesterday's okay. game because I was in the air. All and right. I was going to come home and watch it. And I saw it. Yeah. But you know what? Why don't we do this? You've seen them all. I've seen all the games but yesterday. So I looked at the box score. And I figured, you know what? Since you didn't watch the game yesterday, why don't you look at the box score and bring up what okay. you like, right. what you don't like. Right. I didn't like that box score at all yesterday. At all. What was the and, what and was glaring at you? If the uh, five things. All right. This the few things in the box score that, that, that scare me. One is Dante DiVincenzo playing 37 minutes. Th- that to me is far too many for him. And I get it. He's been terrific. Yes, he has. But with a player like DiVincenzo, I think some point you reach diminishing returns when you ask him to be a 30-minute a player, 30-minute game player instead of a 24-minute. Okay, that's 